What is going on guys, Kyle back with yet another NHL 17 video. But today, instead of a pack opening, we're gonna change things up and I'm gonna show you guys how I make the majority of my coins on HUT. And so hopefully these methods can work for you guys too. So the first method, I'm sure a lot of you know it, it is the team information method. So I scroll over to team information. Today I'm gonna be using logos, set it to gold, and right now, the majority of logos are going for 600 coins. So basically I set it at 550 and under and I search and I'm looking for logos that cheap. So there's actually a bunch of them up right now. So I just grab those off the market as fast as I can, send them to my collection and I keep doing that over and over until I have 10 and then once I have 10 I scroll over to sets and I put them into one of the trading post sets so that I will get a gold collectible and basically I sell that. And so if the cheapest collectibles are going for 600 coins, then basically a gold uh, collectible should be going for 6,000 coins. So basically there is profit to be made there. You keep buying these uh, team informations for as cheap as you can as long as you're buying them for under the cheapest ones up then you're making profit and this works for gold coaches gold jerseys or gold arenas and basically this method is really popular to use while there are special packs out because basically more packs are being opened and so more players are being posted onto the market so this method works really well and that's how I've made a lot of my coins Alright guys, so we're on to method number two now, and this method is very simple. All of you know it. It's simply just playing games. Each game you play, you get between 800 to 1,000 coins, regardless of winning or losing. And basically, that'll really start to add up. You just need to grind games. I know it's tedious to play, but honestly, it makes a difference. And on top of it, you have the div title bonus, promotion bonus, and holding bonus. And now EA has added div title packs, and although they're untradeable, that'll still really make great additions to your team. I mean, some people have pulled great cards. I myself have pulled a carbon collectible, which really helped me out doing sets. And so on top of the season games, even just playing the playoffs, they've added some great rewards to that. And I mean, you also would get 2K coins for winning. So guys, simply just play games and you'll be able to stockpile some coins. So this next method I'm going to show you does require you to already have some coins on hand but honestly you can end up making a lot of coins with this. So my method here is simply buying Movember cards and then waiting till they get upgraded and selling them later. So a couple weeks ago I did the McDavid uh, rookie set and so I know that at the end of the year chances are he's going to get a team of the year and so his card will really get upgraded. So the set cost me about... 800k to do at the time I think and so I got Austin Matthews, Ekblad and McDavid. I sold Ekblad and Matthews but I held on to McDavid because I'm assuming at the end of the year he's going to be worth a lot more coins. Right now he's worth around 400k so I'm hoping when his overall gets higher his price will just skyrocket. So just like this Jacob Voracek I pulled him with his 88 Movember card and at the time he was worth about 110k. Now that he's been upgraded twice to 90, he's worth about 300k. So my method is go on to the Movember market and buy a player who you think is gonna end up getting upgraded, hold on to him until he's upgraded, and then once he's upgraded, sell him. Next method I'm gonna be talking about is a very, very simple method that I'm sure all of you know, and it's simply just logging into HUT every single day. If you log in with a 7 day streak, you'll get 1,250 coins every day and you're thinking, wow, that's not very many. But if you log in every single day of the year, that's really going to add up. That's hundreds of thousands of coins you're going to be getting. So just simply log in. You don't even have to play a game. Just log in, turn off your PS4 or Xbox if you don't want to play anymore. And there you go, you made 1,250 coins. And then along with that method, Another easy way to make 200 coins or even 400 coins depending how many videos you're allowed to watch each day, simply go to the hub of NHL and watch one of these videos down here. You should get 200 coins for watching it and it's very easy to do. So this next method I'm going to be showing you guys is the silver plus method. 
So when you compare the Gold Pack to the Gold Plus, it doubles in size and also in rare players and in coins. But when you compare the Silver Pack to the Silver Plus, it doubles in size and in rare players but not in price. So basically you're getting a better pack but not paying double the price for it. And with these packs, you're able to make your money back basically every single time. On both the rare players, you can sell them for between 500 and 800 coins and jerseys you're able to sell them for a lot as well because players are often looking for these jerseys and not many people open silver packs so it's easy to make your money back because if you want that jersey you're going to pay the extra coin for it if it's the only one up and also this goes especially for ECHL league jerseys because if you guys don't know this, when you use an ECHL jersey in the game, it gives you blue posts and people are always looking for them. Those jerseys usually go for at least 1k, so you're able to make your money back really easily on these packs. And so on top of all the players, I'll send them all to collection. Just off the quick sell of the contracts and the injury card, you get 450. So this is a method that is really easy to make your coins back and you can make coins off it as well. Okay guys, so we're on to the last method of how to make coins in NHL 17 HUD and ultimately I think this method might be the best. Although it can be risky, it works really well. So basically what I do is I go into the hero sets and I find the cheapest sets which are Ottawa and Boston and basically I look through each non-rare player and I see how many are posted. So we'll take a look at Clark McCarthy here just let this load so there are three of them up only one has no buy now and there are one up for 900 and one up for a thousand so basically my method is you buy both of them that are up okay so we'll buy it and we're gonna list it for 3,000 coins list that for 3,000 coins Boom. And then we're going to buy the other one that is up and we'll also list it for 3,000 coins. So basically, a lot of you guys might know this method and it's called price locking. You might not like it, but honestly it works. Basically now when someone wants to do the Ottawa set and they don't have Car Clark MacArthur, they're going to have to look on the market and they're only going to see mine up for 3,000 coins. So they'll be forced to buy it. And honestly guys, this method does work. It's risky at times because you have to look to see if other people have posted cheaper ones, but honestly this method does work. Alright guys, so this will wrap up my NHL 17 how to make coins video for HUT. And so if these methods do work for you guys, make sure to like and drop a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Just before I ended the video, I wanted to show you guys that these methods do work. So just after I posted those Clark MacArthur's this one sold for 3k so this method does work and then I'll show you guys some of these silver cards that sold so this logo was sold for a thousand this guy 300 I mean it's not much but it'll add up 400 1500 for a non rare player 900 for this jersey 2000 950 1500 400 250 it it all adds up this was another guy that I did the price locking with honestly guys these methods do work, they might just take some time and some investment, but honestly they do work. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching, as I said earlier, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks guys.